Hi, I'm Walt. This is Ken. We've been working together for 30 years and welcome to our video about drain flies. There's probably not a person watching this video, Walt, that hasn't had some small flies in their kitchen or laundry room or somewhere that have given them a lot of problems. Uh, most people refer to them as um, is either fruit flies or gnats, um, but they're, they can be difficult to get rid of, but if you know how to treat them and where to look for them, it's not that difficult. Um, the, the three major flies that we run into are fruit flies, uh, moth flies, and forid flies. Yeah, and, and what the drain flies feed on, uh, they can be down in the sink. Every, when you have a sink or a shower, you know, there's a certain amount of uh, slime that gets in there. It could be soap film, it could be skin, hair, and these, these insects actually feed on it. So you have to clean it somehow. Now you can do that with uh, physically, with a brush as much as you can. There's certain limits on where you can get with a brush. A lot of those drains have covers over them that make it difficult to get anything down in there. Especially and, the and commercial uh, drains. On Floor there. drains and things like that. And so what we do is we, we suggest an, uh, a real biological way to do it, and it's, it's got microbes in it. Uh, this happens to be made by uh, a very well-known company in uh, Kansas, and it's called Rockwell Labs. Very good scent, and these are actually live microbes in here. And what you basically do is follow the directions. You pour in a certain amount in the drain every night for about five days. Then for maintenance, you cover that up. Now, that's a liquid. This happens to be a, an aerosol that foams. And the way to use this, of course, you read the directions, but it inverts. And the nice thing about this, where this goes down to the trap level, this covers and covers that top part of the drain. It's kind of thick, like right. a foam. It's almost like shaving cream. It, it's thick. And, yeah, uh, so just it like covers and it, everything. And it, it's just an aerosol can, but it, gosh, I, at the time I used it, I didn't ever think I'd run out. There's a lot of material in there. So, I mean, I recommend to a lot of people to use a little bit of both. We got mm -hmm. this and quartz gallons, mm -hmm. even five gallon material, because mm -hmm. a, a lot of our drain fly business is commercial, mm -hmm. isn't it? Absolutely. When you get into commercial uh, restaurants, um, any food prep area like that, you're going to find a lot of uh, floor drains. Now, floor drains are usually bigger in diameter, so they're a little more difficult to treat with the liquid or the foam, and that's where these, uh, they have a product, uh, the same company, Rockwell Labs, puts mm -hmm. this out. It's called a BioBullet. There are a couple of different sizes of the BioBullet. These are waxy-like little cakes. Uh, they can be put into the drains, mm -hmm. um, and as long as you've got a constant flow of water over these, they release the microbes into the drain, and they do the same thing. They're eating away um, that slime buildup and the sludge that gets in these drains, um, and, and removing that is job number one. You're mm -hmm. not going to get rid of the flies until you get rid of the, the slimy material that they're right. laying eggs in. Now, in the case of uh, uh, fruit flies, uh, it could be, could be the drains could be a piece of rotten fruit. Mm -hmm. They'll need to get rid of that. That can be done pretty easily. You just throw that out. But in these other flies, they're going to be a little more difficult to, to get rid of their breeding site or their food yeah, source. Yeah, and keep in mind, too, when, when you get rid of your fruit, that doesn't mean the flies are just going to disappear because they're, they're still hatching from their cycle, from complete metamorphosis. Yeah, that's going to take a few days. So mm -hmm. once you or remove the source, so. it could be a week or 10 days before you completely get them gone but that's what it's going to take to get rid of them yeah we actually sad to say but uh this is a glue board with some fruit flies on there and that came from our kitchen here didn't it it did right over in our break room and uh so you know the, the cobbler's we, children have we, no shoes yeah we have mm -hmm. a uh, someone here that leaves fruit out a lot and we have to mm -hmm. constantly get on her this happens to be one of the fruit fly lures made by who Rockwell Labs. Labs. Wow. That. But uh, we, we has a little syringe that you just push this out. You, our kit comes with the glue boards. And you put little spots in there. And before long, the flies will start gathering on it. It's really effective. And you can see the number of fruit flies we caught in a very short time with that. But keep in mind, catching these fruit flies is not going to end the fruit fly problem. That's part of it. That, mm -hmm. that helps wrap things up quickly. But you've got to address that that breeding site, that food source that they've got, it could be in the drains. Um, I've seen them in condensation catch pans under a refrigerator. Um, 
house yeah. plants. Uh, the saucer under a house plant may grow a little bit of slime in there. That's got to be addressed. And, and restaurants too. They, uh, you know, a restaurant's five years old. Mm -hmm. the, the floors, the grouting, they it goes through goes through a lot of wear and tear and right. a lot of cracks in there. And uh, another another product. By uh, Rockwell Labs, Labs again. Another another great product. This is called Mop Clean. This is not probably for the homeowner, but if you're a restaurant, you ought to incorporate this. It's got the microbes in it. Now you put this, tear this off, put it in two to four gallons on your final rinse. And what you're doing, you're doing actually two things. You're 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 mopping the floor, rinsing the floor. This these microbes are getting in the tiny cracks. And also, you're treating the mop. You know, the mop, you know, when we're in a restaurant, we've got four or five mops in the mop room, and that's a great place for the fruit flies to breathe. You and I have both done commercial pest control before. We've been mm -hmm. in restaurants where the mops were horrible. Uh, mm -hmm. They stunk, and oh, they were yeah. full of insects. Oh, so yeah. uh, it's a common thing. So uh, that's going to take care of the floor and the mop. Everybody's got drain flies. Uh, we're here to help you. Give us a call. We have an 800 number. Thank you very much.